Hey guys, welcome back. Just probably gonna be doing some quick stuff on the Camaro real fast. It's parked right over there. It's been kind of, uh, you know, sitting for a while. I did some cleaning in the garage, obviously not done yet. Um, kind of fighting against the weather. It's kind of probably not gonna show up on camera, but it is sprinkling and it has been raining. Um, but uh, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. So I'm planning on just removing the air conditioner unit um, because we're going to be piping the exhaust that way, hopefully. So I'm gonna remove it just so we can kind of see how much space we're gonna have, get a visual for that. Um, it'll just give us some more information about how we're gonna do the turbo kit. And I uh, thought I'd just do it now because I don't wanna wait till the weekend to start working on this stuff. So but I'm gonna go do that on the Camaro over there and then probably just finish up cleaning. Got a bunch of stuff. This is like just a bin full of trash. Mostly all the big stuff's just out of the way. It just needs to be organized now and swept up. It'll be nice for this weekend when we actually do like big work on Camaro. So uh, we'll just have all the room in the garage here to get that done. You can see here the tire is like pretty much completely out of air. I should probably fill that up. And uh, we got some vegetation growing, you know, up there. It's trying to return itself to nature. So, I'm gonna wanna remove the AC compressor here. Uh, it looks like it is attached to what looks like where there would be a tensioner or an idler pulley. So I'll probably remove that bracket just for more space. And I think it's just a couple bolts and it'll slide out. And then from there, I'll be able to actually get to the bracket that holds it on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my tools. It looks like just a couple of 15s and 10 mils. Thir I don't even know, like 13, 14, 15, and 10 mil. And uh, we'll go and get this out because as we explained with the turbo kit, we're just going to not need the AC. It'll be easier instead of doing a side exit bumper exhaust, being able to, and the turbo will be right here, pipe it down and out under that way. It'll be much simpler. All right, so now that that's out of the way, and also consider this is gonna go, and we might even block off the heater core parts. Should really fit up one of the manifolds there and just see how much room we have. But I mean, you can see there's plenty more room with the uh, air conditioner gone for the exhaust to come out. So uh, yeah, glad we're getting some look at this. I'm gonna probably send some photos to Tristan just to show them kind of like how much more room we have. Um, ideally, we want to do it without, you know, bumper exit or hood exit. We want to go through that way because that's also the only way down to where like a stock exhaust position might be. We would just need to also put some heat shielding on some of those lines. I think it's just an O2. Might not even, might not even use that for tuning, so. Also looking at the motor mount, seeing if possibly any way we can get more room out of that. Maybe even making like a tubular one or something. But uh, yeah, I'm glad I got that out. It was just, I mean, I don't know if I needed to take off the bracket, but it was only three bolts. Oops, there we go, three bolts there. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up here and then uh, bring, go back in the garage. You can see it's starting to rain a bit.
got this all aired up so it doesn't look like a drag radial low tire pressure not a race car anymore but yeah we needed to air it back up just so next weekend when we go to roll it back we can do that i should also probably just clean up this oh god nature is taking it back but uh yeah i just like to take a moment to uh remind you guys to like the video it really helps get the video out leave a comment tell us what you'd suggest for this build if you have any other suggestions i'm going to talk more about what we're going to do with the turbo kit here shortly uh, but yeah, just wanted to remind you guys of Patreon, you know, give us any support you can. Appreciate it. All right, guys. So probably spent a bit too long trying to set this up how I wanted to, and it's still not great. I kind of wanted to use this engine as a little bit of like a, I don't know, example, set up the turbo kit around it, <clears throat> where it would be. Obviously it doesn't have its cylinder heads or anything, but I couldn't really prop it up. So got it here on jack stands. So just imagine there's an engine right here. I guess the cylinder heads whatever and then how we will have it is this is the exhaust dump here so we'll have that three inch adapter and then probably just like 90 it down and then from there when it's 90 we need to figure out how to get it down kind of this way and then down through under the manifold out that way and still ideally maintain a three inch diameter exhaust pipe um technically if we can't make that happen, we can neck it down to like two and a half. Um, I don't know personally how much that'll affect the back pressure of the turbo. Um, it'll probably be fine, but ideally want to keep it three inches. But uh, yeah, this is kind of how it would be set. And this is our max speeding rod turbo. Pretty cool, the GT35. Um, what we're going to be doing with this kit is just plug this um, or cut it off and weld it. Probably easier just to plug it because we don't need an O2 here at all, nor do we need one over there, so plug both of those. And then off the exhaust, we'll weld on a O2 bung that will have a wide band, and then we can even relocate the stock O2s farther down the exhaust pipe on, you know, like it's gonna be under the car <clears throat> because we wanna shoot it through down there. And as well as this right here, this is the current uh, bypass valve location, so it's kinda small. I don't know what size this is. It's really, really small. Probably, probably just make a plate for this and then relocate it. Probably right here. We'll need to get like a notcher and uh, we have like a 61 mil blow off valve, or bypass valve or whatever you call it. <clears throat> Forgetting all the terminology for it, but either from the bottom, hole saw up and then get a piece of, alum or piece of uh, exhaust piping down and have a V-band clamp for it. With a V-band, it'll just be easy. It's either where the jack is right here, or it'll be sticking off the side like this, just however we can really get it to go. And then that exhaust pipe can just be a screamer pipe, or we could try to circulate it down with the down pipe here, because if it's right here, it can literally just circulate right into the exhaust. It's kind of hard for me to explain it when there's nothing here. I don't really have any other like piping or anything to show you, but uh, that's the plan. We do have a uh, been looking around find finding welders locally. Um, we could even try doing it ourselves once we get a new welder. That's probably one of the next things we're going to buy. <clears throat> we're just hot gluing it together. <laughs> it doesn't need to be anything fancy for the version one, but uh, It'd be better if we could have somebody with some experience to help us. So if you're in the PNW area, Portland area, whatever, hit us up if you want to help us build this turbo kit, just the exhaust side of it. And then the uh, we have our air water intercooler and then the two and a half inch uh, cold side piping. That'll pretty much just dump right into the intercooler, which will sit right here. It'll sit much lower. Than that. Oh Jesus, making a huge mess. Anyways, it'll sit pretty much like that, maybe a bit to the side. I had these uh, Fagola or Fragola, whatever they're called, uh, fittings from my supercharger kit. I went with inch lines, so we have these three quarter inch lines. We can run it with three quarter inch. It'd be better if we ran it with inch lines. Probably will, I just put them on there to see. And then this will dump right in there. It'll cool the charge temps. And then from here, it'll go straight into the intake in one of those, uh, 90 degree pipes here we even have 180s if we need something you know more substantial but you can see there 
it'll go straight in like that right into the intake and we'll need a silicone coupler to adapt these obviously but um it's a uh, pretty cool visualizing it here i wanted to get it set up like this so i can get a visual of it and that's why i also removed the air conditioner from the the camaro because uh I mean, looking at this two and a half inch, like if we use two and a half inch exhaust piping, I feel like we'd easily snake that through down where we need it to go. Uh, three inch, I have some three inch straight over there. It is, it is actually a pretty significant bump in sizing and in diameter. So might need to go two and a half inch. Um, we'll just have to see, we'll just buy some, you know, exhaust piping and just, I think ideally what we do is we would get the exhaust piping, we get the flange or whatever for this V band get the piping and then just tape it together or mark where we want it welded and then or maybe even tack it ourselves and then take it to a welder oh man i'm really happy i did this look at that so we'll have the exhaust come in spool the turbo this obviously isn't spaced right and the tubes aren't cut to length for what we need and obviously not finalized need to move it a little bit more especially if we're gonna have the 90 come down but look at that i mean goes right in cools the charged air goes right into the intake Really wish I could mock it up on the Camaro, but it is raining and stuff. Might do that like uh, someday when it's not raining here. Uh, I mean, we are bringing the Camaro back into the driveway this weekend, so potentially just mock it up, just see what it looks like. I don't, I don't want to cut up any of this stuff yet, but man, look at that. It's like meant to be. It's like great system. And then once we have the uh, correct flange for this, we can bolt up the turbo properly. Right now I only have like one bolt because this is a T4 flange exhaust manifold and this is a T3 turbo. But uh, have the downpipe go, just kind of go right under and it just needs to snake right under the exhaust manifold down into where the stock exhaust would go. And once we have that, build a full exhaust for it or just have it like dump out the side. Tristan really just wants to avoid a bumper exit or a hood exit exhaust, which is understandable. That way he can have just like full exhaust. He can put resonators on it, just make it so it doesn't drone. It'll be really, really cool. And I really like seeing it like this. This is an awesome looking setup here. Man, I really want to see on the car. But uh, yeah, I think that's probably gonna do it. I'm gonna finish cleaning up the garage. Uh, you saw that I took off that. We're just, you know, checking, seeing how it's gonna all fit up. So really excited. Again, thank you, Max Speeding Rods for the Airwater Intercooler Turbo and Intercooler Piping. So we just need to pull the, the Camaro over here. You saw me air up the tire. We're all ready to go. We just wanted to want to start working on it. <clears throat> that's why I did all, this all today. So, uh, yep, that's our plan for modifying the exhaust, kind of how the cold and hot side's going to pipe. Might even on the the inlet here, bring it down into where the battery is. The battery normally sits in the fender area of the passenger side of the Camaro. May even make a cold air intake. Just bring that right down there, so get some fresh air. And yeah, this will be an awesome setup cold IETs with this air and water intercooler, get a Davies Craig EWP 150. And uh, I'm not sure if any of you guys have looked at it recently, but we have a spreadsheet for the Camaro. You can see all the parts and stuff that we're looking to buy um, to just continue the build. You'll see what kind of specs. So if you wanna make recommendations, if you have any suggestions for the build, just let us know. Uh, if you know of a good budget welder, um, probably a little below $700. I know some people, it's with, with the welders, it's like you either have to spend like two grand or nothing. Like there's no in between, the, no budget welders. And some people's eyes do anything. So <clears throat> I'm fine with budget welder. It's better than this thing. And uh, yeah, I think that's gonna do it. Check out our Patreon, leave a like down below. It seriously helps our channel. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.